My name is Jenna Ellis and I'm the senior legal advisor uh, to the Trump campaign and I'd like to just explain now uh, where we've been and where we're at and what you can expect from this process. So what you have heard, I'm sure, in the fake newspapers tomorrow will be one of two things. Either there was not sufficient evidence that we've presented or we spoke too long. Okay, so what you've heard now is an, basically an opening statement. This is what you can expect to see when we get to court to actually have a full trial on the merits to actually show this evidence in court and prove our case. This is not a law and order episode where everything is neatly wrapped up in 60 minutes. For those of you who are here in this room or have maybe tuned out in other networks, clearly you've never been court reporters. Trials take time. Putting on evidence takes time. This is basically an opening statement so the American people can understand what the networks have been hiding and what they refuse to cover because all of your fake news headlines are dancing around the merits of this case and are trying to delegitimize what we are doing here. Let me be very clear that our objective is to make sure to preserve and protect election integrity. President Trump has been saying from day one that this is about maintaining free and fair elections in this country. It is not about overturning an outcome. It is about making sure that election integrity is preserved and every American should want that. If every American is not on board with that, you have to ask yourself why. And if your fake news network is not covering this or allowing you to cover it fairly and accurately, you should ask yourself why. This is absolutely a legitimate legal basis. We have been asked to provide an entire case that generally would take years in civil litigation. I've been a prosecutor. I have tried cases with far simpler facts. One thing happened in a matter of minutes, and it still takes days. And we go through a jury process. This is the court of public opinion right now. We are not trying our case in the court of public opinion because if we were, we would get unbiased jurors. I would strike 99% of you from the jury, and I would be allowed to because of the fake news coverage you provide. You are not unbiased jurors. And until you step out of your role as a journalist and actually go into a courtroom and you are a judge on a bench that has sworn an oath to be unbiased in our separation of powers, then your opinion does not matter. The facts matter, the truth matters, and if you are fair reporters, you will cover that fairly and appropriately and you will allow coverage of our media team here and our legal team. That is absolutely shocking that all you cover are around the margins, and I've seen all of you taking pictures right now, and I can anticipate what your headlines are going to be. If you are not willing to talk about the evidence that has been presented, then that is absolutely unacceptable for journalistic standards.